All right, everybody, welcome back. I uh, got some more Harbor Freight tools here. I went and uh, had to pick up some things the other day, so um, bought a couple items that really didn't need, um, but they're pretty pretty nice. So this is one of the things I didn't want. Um, I'm re was redoing a bunch of trim in my basement, so I wanted an air nailer. Um, never had one before. I uh, used one back in high school a little bit. In my woods class, we did a little bit. Um, and kind of doing some research, this one seemed like a really nice one for what it what paid. I think it paid 30 bucks for it, not even 20 something. Um, 18 gauge, two in one air nailer and stapler. I haven't used the staples yet. Um, I have used the nails. Um, I did, I don't know. 150 feet or so of it the other day pretty nice little air nailer um, came with a fitting on the end here just put some oil in it and went um, you pull the little trigger there and it pops it open you can see you got some two inch brad nails in there um, I don't know they did a good job uh, never jammed um, was very easy to set the depth on it right I just adjusted the compressor a little bit and seemed like it worked great. So uh, that's the first tool. Um, no complaints with that. Uh, next thing I bought, which I really didn't need, but I kind of wanted, um, was this um, load tester for batteries. So the only reason I really wanted one of these was I was doing a starter. Had to do a starter the other day. Um, and I wanted to make sure the battery cables were good. The starter was completely junk, but I wanted to load the battery t cables and make sure that they weren't shot also. Um, and I really, I didn't trust the starter putting enough of a load on it when it was junk to actually test them properly. So I went and picked one of these up. I, I did the starter anyway, and cause I didn't have this first, but for next time, I wanted one of these. I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. So let's see here. Come on, get out of there. Um, need two hands for a second, jeepers. There. The 100 amp load tester, I think, it was what it was claimed at. It's got a positive and negative lead here. A little plastic wrap crap off so yeah it's got a little gauge there for how many volts it draws and then just an on off switch um, so I have I made a different video on a solar battery tester um, it's a was it capacitance tester so not a capacitance tester I can't remember what it's officially named but it it doesn't really load the battery it tests the resistance in it or something i'm not really sure um, but i like that better than these load testers um, that's been extremely accurate so the only thing i'm really going to use this for is just probably checking the battery cables to make sure they're all good putting a load on them and the starter is completely junk um, this was like 19 20 bucks so not like i spent a lot of money on it um, the rest of the stuff is all pretty small stuff here um, just bought some of these little locking clamps, uh, the hemostats. Um, just sometimes it's hard to get in there with a the needle nose, and especially the needle nose vice grip ones where they lock, and I wanted something that could lock. Um, picked up a couple of these, a couple bucks a piece. And then, I, I needed a new pick set for here at the farm because for some reason all my picks keep disappearing. I don't know where they go, but they run off. So another couple bucks here. Cheap little pick set. And then, I'm not sure how these will work, but they were on in like a clearance bin. Um, got these LED lights. They have a little piece of um, foam on the back here, it looks like. Or not foam, Ugh, Velcro, jeepers that you can stick them to a wall and then take the light off and stick it back up. I mean, they're pretty bright. So I don't know, I have a little shed out in 
back of my house that I wanted to put these in to try them because there's no lights in there. Um, so that's really all I ended up buying. I just really went for the air nailer and the load tester and then I started walking around and I'm like, well, I could use this and this and this. So I had to get out of there before I <laughs> spent too much money. Um, but just, just a little video on to show stuff off. Uh, like I said, the air nailer, I'm very impressed with so far. That, like I said, I did, I don't know, 100, 150 feet of trim board. And I mean, it just worked flawlessly. Didn't have a problem with it at all. So for, for the price there, I'm really impressed. Um, yeah, I, that's pretty much all we got here. Um, I'll try to put maybe some prices for stuff down in the description. Um, thanks for watching. Check out some of my other stuff. I made a different Harbor Freight video with some more tools in it. Um, some bigger items, that one. Some of my favorite tools there. So check that out if you like this one. And thanks for watching.